that's that's the case. It's terrifying. It's true. It is. It's a mess. That's a mitzvah and a blessing, and it is. I'm from the Jewish side of the Baptist family. You see, well, my my poor nephew is so drunk at the time he doesn't understand that there is no Jewish side. So I I, I appeared to him on his 26th birth 26th birthday. That's what I did. I did. I woke up. And I had had a bit of a binge, and I was lying in bed next to him, massaging areas that I cannot discuss because I thought they were my own. You see, I am the world's oldest transvestite. I am 92 years old. It's the case. It is. And um, I adopted Sebastian. He had some very difficult times in his life. And he never, well, I should sit. And he never left me. <laughs> Frequently I hop in his luggage and I go on vacations with him, it's true. And that's not, that's not kosher, get that out of my pocket. And, um, and he finally let me out tonight. But, you know, I, well, I kind of committed a rude, as they you were say. already out. No. <laughs> oh, listen, when, uh, they cut my schmuckle off when Eisenhower was in, was in the office. It's true, they did. They had to use a machete. <laughs> I was also experimenting with LSD at the time, so I don't know if it was a machete or, or a nail clipper. But you know what happened, and it's gone, so I don't, I don't mind. <laughs> Let's the pack, you know. <laughs> Oh, yeah. So, uh, frequently I just hop along Cassidy and he doesn't know. I hide behind a palmetto bush in Miami and, um, you know, a graceful settee in Avignon and um, in New York behind the Coke dealer. So no one really knows where I am. I'm putting this and on YouTube. He, he, doesn't, he, he doesn't know that I'm there, but sometimes he finds me. No. And tonight, he didn't want me to appear. So I played to his ego, which you know is very difficult with Sebastian. He has absolutely no ego whatsoever. <laughs> completely shrill, let me tell you. Yes, as much as my breath is surreal, his ego is non-existent. And, um, he, um, yes, uh, well, I told him that he had a meeting under a bridge with David Sedaris and a publisher from the New York Times. And you know, it worked. I didn't know how it would, but it did. Shame on you. A shunder. A shunder on your house. My God. <laughs> I'm tapping my heel and that gives me vertigo. I'll vomit on you, I promise. That's what I have to do. Anyway. Well, I don't know how long he's going to be gone because I told him the bridge was in Harlem. And that is a bit of distance away where he's meeting people under. That's by my house. Is it? Oh, that is how fortunate you are. My God, you must be lovely. Um, and that's it. But he does want uh, me to tell you that you should have a very nice time and keep getting drunk and don't break anything. That's what he'd like. Mazel tov. And we can all be thankful, thank God, that there is a Democrat in the White House. Yeah. <laughs> I hear the Republicans were thinking of reinstituting the guillotine, but then they found that it was French and might inquire that immigrants would return to the state. So they decided. Or demand to freedom prize. Yes, exactly. I know. Yes, I know. You, I hope you lot were lost at Sarah Palin, because that's just all I can hope for. My legacy rushed from my house. Oh, good. Well, the thing is, she's nearsighted, so I don't know if she could. That I don't think she could.
trying to insinuate. That's terrifying. And I rented my breasts. I have to get them back. You know, everything is so expensive. I was walking through a transvestite-filled neighborhood. Someone stole my implants. And I'm like, again? But again, I know. That's the third time. This month, I know. <laughs> Granted, I was in Guatemala, so... <laughs> the first time was in Chile, wasn't it? Chile, Guatemala, Argentina, you know, wherever they speak that non-English, I get very confused. It was called Mexican. That, that is true. But yes, but everything is, is very nice, and soon he'll get back. He may have been mugged or beaten or raped, but Tito, he'll get back. No, Tito is now in a prison in Long Island. I don't think he has things to say about but you know, I'm hearing my phone ring. You know, how do you know how to use a phone? Oh, at 85, at 92? What do you think? I actually kidnapped Stephen Hawking, and I keep him in my basement, and he controls everything I do. He's lovely. But, but I do hear my phone ringing, and I have to go before my nephew comes back, so.